It's beer o'clock on Real Little Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a bottle of the Brewdog versus Weisterfahnen India Pellweizen. It's a collaboration, of course, with Weisterfahnen, the world's oldest brewery. So it's a concept, really, of a younger, fresher, fire brand of a brewery in Brewdog versus the world's oldest brewer. Very well known for their Hefeweizens, Weisterfahnen. So you're going to get a nice clovey, spicy, banana-y backbone to the beer and it's been hopped with Simcoe hops to bring it up into the 21st century, if you like. There's the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Well, it says on the bottle, kicking and screaming into the 21st century. So, Nice smoke on the opening. Beer in the glass then. The moment it looks like a your classic Hefeweizen. Look at that! Lovely head developing. I will get, I'm hoping this is going to be a bottle conditioned beer. I believe this is. So Great stuff from, from Brewdog. Your Hefeweizen's very important that you get all that yeast in. It's, it's a lot of the flavour that comes from the yeast. So, I'm a little bit nervous to, to be honest with this one. I had a beer um, about a month ago, which was a kind of a same thing, half of Eisen with American hops, and it tasted like toothpaste, like mouthwash. It was awful. It was like mentally terrible, terrible beer. Knowing Bruno, knowing Westerfan, and they've worked on this, they've kind of looked at it closely, and they've got it right. So I'm a little nervous, but it should be okay. So beer in a glass. Two fingers of white head, and it's a slightly cloudy coloured beer. And it's great to see this from Brewdog, this lovely kind of cloudy beer, because a lot of their beers, the clarity is fantastic. Really clear, crisp beers. But it's nice for a little bit of a difference. Look at that. It's yeast in a Brewdog beer. Great stuff. So, Slightly lemony colour look to the beer, hazy, pale beer, two fingers of white head. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, and this smells like they've got it right. You do get the initial very small hint of clove and spiciness and banana, but then it moves over very quickly into that Simcoe hop, that beautiful, aromatic, grapefruity, slight orange peel aroma. Smells great, gotta get into it. 6.2% ABV. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, that's bang on the button. Bang on the button. So, you have the mouthfeel. So, the base of the beer, the body of the beer is malty, bready, lovely mouthfeel. Classic German style beer with the flavours. And then it moves over to, it's refreshing and hoppy on the back end. This, well, I'll go into it in a moment, but uh, this is really good. It's delicately balanced. It's not... That initial worry of it tasting a little bit like mouthwash with that clash of clover. Oh, sorry, clover? That's a butter. That, <laughs> that clove, that spice, and then that American hop. I was worried it was going to clash into being like a mouthwash, but it doesn't. That's gone out the window. It's two separate flavours, but it's, it's a delicate balance that they've got right. It's it's just remarkably, remarkably like two beers. You could close your eyes and think about a Hefeweizen. Mouthfeel, spiciness, clovey, banana. And then you could close your eyes and do this.
IPA, hoppy, Simcoe, beautiful aromatic hops, lovely kind of orange, a little bit of spice there with that orange, grapefruity, piney. It's it's amazing. It, it's 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 class. It's a class beer. And if you watched it two weeks ago now, blimey, didn't time fly? Um, I did a video called Show Us Your Local uh, as part of Jamie Oliver's Drinks Tube. And I went, I, I went, I showed a couple of bars in Cardiff and I ended up in Brewdog. And I explained all the reasons why Brewdog's my favourite bar, where I go to. You know, great food, growlers, great temperatures of the beer, great way the, the beer's conditioned there. Um, it's almost perfect every time. Uh, I like the atmosphere, I like, I like the feel, it's slightly retro, and pff, uh, <laughs> losing it a little bit here. And, and it's just a bottle variety. I have got young children. You all know that. I can't spend all my time in the pub. I spend a lot of my time drinking in the house. But it's nice. Drop the kids to school, head into Cardiff, have a coffee, hit Brewdog lunchtime, have a beer, have a punk IPA, buy yourself a few bottles and then come home. When the kids are in bed, I can then get and review stuff like this. And I've never had that experience before in Cardiff, before last year, before they come into Cardiff Brewdog. It was it was very much um, ordering online or, or I sometimes ring breweries and, and ask them to politely send to our channel. Um, I don't do that so much anymore. I've got uh, well, I'm, I've not run a brewery to, for, for beer in, in, in about a year now. Um, I tend to go to Ali's out in Cardiff. There's a great bottle shop out there. Or, like I just said, I go to Brewdog. Um, or there's a place in Panath that I go to. So, so, it's amazing, really, the amount of craft beer that's just exploding around South Wales. Um, slight detour with this beer review. I do apologise, but I, I wanted to explain why there's kind of so much Brewdog coming on the channel at the moment. And, and number one is the quality of the beer, and number two, I like drinking in a bar and then bringing bottles back. So let's just wrap this up then. India Pale Bison. Um, it's an absolutely magnificent beer. It really is. 6.2%. Um, it doesn't drink like a 6.2% beer. There's no real alcohol warming. It's it's very sessionable. It's it's very drinkable. It's very refreshing. Um, this goes right up there. To I know it's only February 2015, but this could this is probably in my top three beers of 2015 so far. Um, and it's going to take an awful lot to take it out of the top three throughout the year. Um, it's a fantastic beer. And it's not that expensive either, it's a, it's a few pound a bottle, you, you can pick it up, bring it back, and I, I hope it's a beer that they re-brew. I hope it's not a one-off beer that once it's gone, it's gone. I hope it becomes part of Brewdog's staple uh, beers. So, rating. How do I rate this? Well, you know, um, it's a Stone the Crows beer, this one. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. Great beer, great tasting beer, lovely and refreshing. It looks good. I love the kind of Weistafana take on it, that lovely kind of yeasty, clovery, magnificent kind of banana taste. And then the American hops that come through, that Simcoe. Great stuff. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.